During 6 to 11 September, the armed forces of Ukraine destroyed Russian equipment worth $670 million, a significant part of which was destroyed during the counteroffensive in Kharkiv Oblast. According to the Ukrainian Forbes, based on the data provided by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the appropriate assessment is provided. So, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, during this period, 2,850 invaders and 590 pieces of equipment were destroyed. A significant part of the equipment was destroyed during the counteroffensive in Kharkiv Oblast, but it is difficult to determine exactly which part. The losses of the Russian forces are estimated to be as follows. 86 tanks and 158 armored combat vehicles, 106 artillery systems, 159 vehicles and 46 other equipment. The most expensive loss of the occupiers was the Moskva-1 electronic missile defense system, worth 57 million US dollars, which was destroyed in Zaporizhia Oblast. In Kharkiv Oblast, the invaders lost an Su-34 fighter bomber, 36 million US dollars, and a Zupark 1M counter battery complex, 25 million US dollars. Not all the equipment lost by the Russians has been destroyed. According to the analytical project Oryx, from 6 to 10 September, the Ukrainian military seized 129 pieces of equipment, which Forbes estimates at $104 million, including 9 2S-19 Masta and 2A-65 Masta B howitzers worth more than $43 million. US dollars. As of September 13, Ukrainian forces have made additional territorial gains in Kharkiv region in an ongoing counteroffensive that began south. 6. Ukrainian forces have reportedly recaptured most of the Kharkiv region, retaking numerous settlements and reaching the border with Russia in the area. With these gains, the battle for the Kharkiv region seems to be over, and Ukrainian forces will likely focus on consolidating their gains and building up their defensive posture. Russian troops have conducted intense bombardments of civilian infrastructure throughout the Kharkiv region allegedly as retaliation following the collapse of their forces in the region.